talk about dialysis briefly. So dialysis is a difficult concept for most people. Dialysis is simply diffusion. And it's diffusion against a semi-permeable membrane, like what we see here. We have red on one side and blue on the other. And what happens over time is the blue and the red equilibrate. As the blue diffuses, across a semi-permeable membrane. We get equalization of electrolytes on both sides. Dialysis works in the same way, where instead of having red and blue circles, we have something like potassium. So this is the blood side. This is the dialysate. In the blood, let's say our potassium is 7. Very high, very dangerous. In the dialysate, our potassium is, say, 2. Blood is pumped in one direction and dialysate is pumped in the other direction. And what do you suppose happens over time? Is potassium leaks essentially from the blood across the semipermeable membrane into the dialysate. And then the dialysate goes down the drain. out of your body. Alternatively, we may give solute to the patient via diffusion through our semipermeable membrane in the dialysate. The bicarb of the dialysate is approximately 35 and the bicarb in the patient, let's just say, is 20. So what happens is bicarb is actually delivered into the blood from the dialysate. And so we have balancing of potassium. We have balancing of bicarb. Another factor in terms of dialysis is ultrafiltration. Ultrafiltration is produced by transmembrane pressure whereby water leaves the blood and goes into the dialysate via pressure applied to the membrane itself. Negative pressure applied to the membrane, water will leave under pressure. That is called ultrafiltration. So the things that we care about and the things that we change in dialysis prescription are the amount of ultrafiltration, or UF, in liters, 1 to 4 liters, we care about the bath, or the dialysate, things in the dialysate that we control are the potassium, the sodium, the bicarbonate, and the calcium. We also control the time. Usually it's in hours, three to four hours. 
we control the blood flow. And that's usually 400 milliliters per minute. And then we control what's called the dialysate flow. And the dialysate flow is usually twice the blood flow. So that's 800 milliliters per minute. Other potential options are the temperature, the temperature of the dialysate, and we can increase or decrease that depending on the patient's temperature. And we can also change the filter type. So filters can have large pores, small pores, large surface area, small surface area. Some patients are allergic to some types of filters, but most patients tolerate the most common filter that's used. That is dialysis in a nutshell.